All right, so this problem says the function h is defined by h of k equals ax plus b, where a and b are positive constants. All right, so let's just keep that in mind. The graph of y equals h of x in the xy plane passes through 0, 10, and negative 2, 3, 25 over 36. What is the value of a plus b? All right, so when they give you these two coordinate points and a general equation like we have here, ax plus b, Let's just start plugging in the numbers and see what we can make of it, right? So h of x is just our output or our y value. And we can see here in the first one, our y value or output will be 10. So we have 10 equals, we don't know what a and b are, but we can figure it out from these values. So here it says that with the input of 0, so x equals 0, we're going to get a output of 10. Well, let's see. So a to the power of 0 is going to give us one so here we have one so 10 equals one so this is plus b and so what added to one gives us 10 well that is going to give us a value of nine so we still do not know what the value of a is but we know whatever a is to the power of zero is going to be one but we have now just found out the value of b right and it makes sense because b is a positive constant now, what we want to do is tackle the second part. So the second part here is negative 2, 325 over 36. So let's see what we can do here now that we know what the B value is. So we know the output is going to be 325 over 36. So 325 over 36. And we want to set this equivalent to just our general form AX. So A, we don't know what that is. X here, in our case, right here it says it's negative 2. So negative two, and we already found the B value from our previous uh, journey up there. So that's gonna be plus nine. And so now what we wanna do is just solve for A, right? So we can subtract nine on both sides. And this is actually interesting because 325 over 36, nine times 36 is gonna give us 324. And so when we subtract nine on both sides, that's in reality is just subtracting 324 divided by 36. This will be set equal to a to the power of negative 2. And so if we want to solve for a here, let's simplify the left side. That is going to be 1 over 36 equals a to the power of negative 2. And you can plug this into Desmos and solve it, but here it is just exponent properties. So a to the negative 2, that is the same thing here as just 1 over a to the power of 2. And so because we have 1 over 36 equals 1 over a to the power of 2. What we can do here is just disregard everything on top um, because we can take the reciprocal of both sides. So this in reality really is just 36 equivalent to a squared. So now what we can do is just solve for a by taking the square root of both sides. And on the SAT, when you take the square root, when you manually take the square root of something, you are taking the principal square root, and therefore you only want the positive solution. And so instead of negative 6 and 6, it's just going to be positive 6 as our final answer. So positive 6 here is our answer for A, but the question is asking for the product of A and B. So we know here that B is a value of positive 9, and A is a value of positive 6. So 9 times 6 is going to give us a value of 54, and therefore C is going to be our final answer.